projection into inanimate matter kingdom. Now we will continue with your ESP training by learning effective Sen. Sorry projection into the kingdom of inanimate matter. We will study metals from a subjective point of view. Start by getting four different metal objects. We recommend stain, less steel, copper, brass, and aluminum. Then we want you to handle the metals and become familiar with them physically because this makes it easier for you to project yourself into them mentally the way you projected yourself into your living room's south wall in the pre Myos chapter. First, you use your physical senses to study each object. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Can you detect an odor? After you study each metal, bring it to your forehead and touch your forehead with it. When you do, close your eyes and make an impress. Sion, this is the procedure we will use when you project yourself men. Tally into each of the metals. After you enter your level, you will review those objective impress. Sion's at the subjective alpha level. This will make it easier for you to then project your subjective senses, your mind, to detect subjective information and relate it to the objective impressions you made with your physical senses. Conduct the four tests. Remember that you are projecting, which means that you make it happen. Jose Silva said that, whatever you imagine, that is what counts here. When you are ready, enter your level as you learn to do in chapter 2. Then project yourself mentally to the living room in your home and imagine yourself standing in the center, facing the south wall. Then extend your arm objectively and visualize the piece of stainless steel. Mentally sense the piece of stainless steel and relive and object. Tively repeat all the movements made previously. Pause bring the steel closer and closer to your forehead. Mentally observe it a few inch. Ease away. Pause. Now allow the stainless steel to touch your forehead and mentally project yourself into it. Pause you are now within the piece of stain. Less steel. You may return your hand to rest on your lap. Pause if you imagine the piece of stainless steel to be just big enough for you to fit in. You will not go very deeply inside. But if you imagine the piece of steel to be as big as a room, then you can go further within. If you imagine I need this piece of steel to be as large as a massive building and feel your size in contrast with it, then you can go still further within using the depth offered by this dimension of mind. Whenever you need to increase the illumination or amount or size of anything, just snap the fingers of your right hand slightly and expect the change to take place for a decrease or to return anything back to its original state. Snap the fingers of your left hand slightly and expect the change to take place, whatever you perceive with your imagination at. This dimension you can use as points of reference in the future. At this time we are going to subjectively conduct four tests. The first test will be for light, intensity, and color. Sense the intensity and color of light within the stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with. Your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference. In the future, at the count of three, we will test for temperature. Sense the temperature within the stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. At the count of three, we will test for odor. Sense the odor within the stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at. This dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. At the count of three, we will test for solidity of material by knocking on the stainless steel. Physically form a fist and go through the motions of knocking on the stainless steel as you do on a wall. Pause what kind of sound do you subjectively hear? Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference. In the future, now objectively touch your forehead and come out of the stainless when you are ready. Enter your level as you learn to do in chapter 2. Then project yourself mentally to the living room in your home and imagine yourself standing in the center, facing the south wall. Then extend your arm objectively and visualize the piece of stainless steel. Mentally sense the piece of stainless steel and relive and object. Tively repeat all the movements made previously. Pause bring the steel closer and closer to your forehead. Mentally observe it a few inch. Ease away. Pause. Now allow the stainless steel to touch your forehead and mentally project yourself into it. Pause you are now within the piece of stain. Less steel. You may return your hand to rest on your lap. Pause if you imagine the piece of stainless steel to be just big enough for you to fit in. You will not go very deeply inside. But if you imagine the piece of steel to be as big as a room, then you can go further within. If you imagine, I need this piece of steel to be as large as a massive building and feel your size in contrast with it, then you can go still further within using the depth offered by this dimension of mind. Whenever you need to increase the illumination or amount or size of anything, just snap the fingers of your right hand slightly and expect the change to take place. For a decrease or to return anything back to its original state, snap the fingers of your left hand slightly and expect the change to take place, whatever you perceive with your imagination at. This dimension you can use as points of reference in the future. At this time we are going to subjectively conduct four tests. 
The first test will be for light, intensity, and color. Sense the intensity and color of light within the stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with. Your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference. In the future, at the count of three, we will test for temperature. Sense the temperature within the stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. At the count of three, we will test for odor. Sense the odor within the stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. At the count of three, we will test for solidity of material by knocking on the stainless steel, physically form a fist and go through the motions of knocking on the stainless steel as you do on a wall. Pause what kind of sound do you subjectively hear? Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference. In the future, now touch your forehead to come out of the piece of copper you are now now coming out of the copper. Extend your arm and hold the piece of copper at arm's length. Now allow the piece of copper to flow in space, using as a background the natural color of your living rooms. South wall. Keep the piece of copper rotating. You may return your hand to rest on your lap. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to red. The wall is now red. How does this piece of copper stand out against a red background? Pause. How does this compare with the piece of stainless steel? Keep the piece of copper rotating. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to green. The wall is now green. How does this piece of copper stand out against the green back? Ground. Pause. How does this compare with the stainless steel? Keep the piece of copper rotating. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to blue. The wall is now blue. How does this piece of copper stand out against a blue background? Pause. How does this compare with the stainless steel? Keep the piece of copper rotating. Pause. The color of the wall will now change back to green. Back to red. Back to the actual color of the wall. Now the piece of copper will disappear. Pair from the scene. The piece of copper has disappeared from the scene. Now we will visualize the piece of brass. Extend your arm objectively and visualize the piece of brass reliving all your previous movements. As you bring your hand closer and closer, pause. Now touch your forehead and mentally project yourself into the brass. Pause. You are now within the brass at any depth or level you desire. You may return your hand to rest on your lap. At the count of three, we will conduct the first test. Sense the intensity and color of light within brass. Pause how does the light within brass compare with that of copper paws and stainless steel. Pause what? Ever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. Now test for temperature. Sense the temperature within brass. Pause how does the temperature of brass compare with that of cop? For paws and stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with. Your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference. In the future, now test for odor. Sense the odor within brass. Pause how does the odor of brass compare with that of copper paws and stainless steel. Pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. Now test for solidity of material. Objectively form a fist and knock on brass. Pause how does the reflected sound of brass compare with that of copper paws and stainless steel. Pause whatever you per. See with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. Now touch your forehead to come out of the piece of brass. Touch your forehead. You are now coming out of the brass. Extend your arm and hold the piece of brass at arm's length. Now allow the piece of brass to float in space, using as a background the natural color of your living room's south wall. Keep the piece of brass rotating. You may really turn your hand to rest on your lap. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to red. The wall is now red. How does this piece of brass stand out against a red background? Pause. How does this compare with the piece of copper pause and the piece of stainless steel? Keep the piece of brass rotating. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to green. The wall is now green. How does this piece of brass stand out against a green back? Ground. Pause. How does this compare with the copper pause and stainless steel? Keep the piece of brass rotating. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to blue. The wall is now blue. How does this piece of brass stand out against a blue background? Pause. How does this compare with the copper paws in stainless steel? Keep the piece of brass rotating. Pause. The color of the wall will now change back to green. Back to red. Back to the actual color of the wall. Now the piece of brass will disappear. Fair from the scene. Snap fingers. The piece of brass has disappeared. From the scene, now we will visualize the piece of aluminum. Extend your arm, objectively and visualize the piece of aluminum, reliving all your pre bios movements, bringing your hand closer and closer. Pause now, touch your forehead and mentally project yourself into the piece of alu. Minimum, pause you are now within the piece of aluminum, at any depth or level you desire. You may return your hand to rest on your lap. Now we will conduct the first test. Sense the intensity and color of light within aluminum. Pause how does the light within aluminum 
Compare with that of brass, pause copper, pause in stainless, steel, pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this. Dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. Now test for temperature. Sense the temperature within aluminum. Pause how does the temperature of aluminum compare with that of brass, pause copper, pause in stainless steel, pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. Now test for odor. Sense the odor within aluminum. Pause how does the odor of aluminum compare with that of brass, pause cop, per, pause in stainless steel, pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference. In the future, now test for solidity of material. Objectively form a fist and knock on the aluminum. Pause how does the reflected sound of aluminum Compare with that of brass, pause copper, pause in stainless, steel, pause whatever you perceive with your imagination at this dimension you can use as a point of reference in the future. Now touch your forehead to come out of the piece of aluminum. Touch your forehead, you are now coming out of the aluminum. Extend your arm and hold the piece of aluminum at arm's length. Now allow the piece of aluminum to float in space, using as a background the nat. Hero color of your living room's south wall. Keep the piece of aluminum, rotating. You may return your hand to rest on your lap. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to red. The wall is now red. How does the piece of aluminum stand out against a red background? Pause. How does this compare with the brass? Pause. Copper. Pause. And stainless steel. Keep the piece of aluminum rotating. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to green. The wall is now green. How does this piece of aluminum stand out against a green background? Pause. How does this compare with brass? Pause. Cop. Per. Pause. And stainless steel. Keep the piece of aluminum rotating. Pause. Now the color of the wall will change to blue. The wall is now blue. How does this piece of aluminum stand out against a blue back? Ground. Pause. How does this compare with the brass? Pause. Cop. Per. Pause in stainless steel. Keep the piece of aluminum rotating. Pause. The color of the wall will now change back to green. Back to red. Back to the actual color of the wall. Now the piece of aluminum will disappear from the scene. Snap fingers. The piece of aluminum has disappeared from the scene. Whatever you perceive with your imagi. Nation at this dimension you can use as points of reference in the full turn. It is now an accomplished fact that subjective points of reference have been established in the kingdom of inanimate matter at different levels and different depths. To function at these levels and to use these points of reference, all you need is to have a sincere desire to solve problems, your mind will automatically seek out these points of refer and set where you will perceive and become aware of information you can use to solve such problems. And this is so, you have practiced entering deep, healthy levels of mind. In your next session, you will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, faster and easier than this time. In the next exercise, you will establish points of reference in their plant life kingdom by projection to a tree and a study of leaves. Now when you are ready, count yourself out of your level. Take your time. Take your time.